that time of the week. CBS3 Summerfest makes its way to Wilmington today. Among the many things to see and do in the city, the chance to take in a great show or concert. Many of the theater venues there have a very rich history. Our witness news reporter Jan Carabello sets the stage for us this morning. Good morning, Jan. Rahel and Jim, good morning. Along this two block stretch here in Wilmington, Delaware, there are three venues with 200,000 square feet of performance space. We start now with the Grand Opera House. Its mission was actually created back in the 1800s, but that mission remains the same today. Built to resemble the Paris Opera House in the City of Light, this instead is Wilmington, Delaware. The Grand Opera House on North Market Street has embraced performers and patrons alike for 146 years, making it one of the 10 oldest opera houses in the U.S. still in use today. It was built in the 1870s to put Wilmington on the map so that Wilmington could compete for attention with Philadelphia and Baltimore. With that in mind, outside, the facade is fabricated from cast iron made to look like stone. Inside, a mix of hard and soft. The muses high above keep watch over a house that fits a crowd of 1,200 people. There's a real electricity in the room. Artists love to play here because this is the room that they look out into as they're standing on stage. Built in 1871, then renovated a century later to the tune of $5 million, the Grand has attracted talent as wide ranging as the March King, John Philip Sousa, and Ethel Barrymore of the famous Barrymore family to modern day acts including Tony Bennett. He said, I've performed in theaters all around the country, and I can count on one hand the ones that compare to this one in terms of beauty and acoustics. Located just a couple of blocks away from the Grand and built 42 years later is the Playhouse, and the long list of notables who perform there is just as impressive. The DuPont Company constructed the Playhouse on Rodney Square in just 100 days. The Broadway-style theater was built to attract world-class performers that could entertain employees and the entire community. Since 1913, the Playhouse has turned into a training ground of sorts. A tryout house for shows moving to New York to play on Broadway and also a primary touring spot for shows coming out of Broadway. Executive Director Mark Fields says Kristen Chenoweth has credited one of her performances here at the Playhouse with launching her career. And next to the stage, the Wall of Fame, a running tally and autograph form, a who's who of talent making a stop in Wilmington, Delaware. Back here at the Grand now, this, ven this venue has three resident companies, ballet, opera, and orchestra. And right next door is actually a third venue called the Baby Grand. It's a stage for emerging artists. So there really is so much to see and do here in Wilmington, Delaware, among all three of these venues for a full list of performances, performers, and plays coming not only this summer, but when the season officially starts in the fall, just visit our website at cbsphilly.com. We're reporting live in Wilmington, Delaware this morning. Jan Carabao, CBS. Three eyewitness news. Rahel and Jim, back into you. Very neat, Jan. All right, thank you. I've always loved that building. Just absolutely amazing.